Hi, and welcome to the first of two video tutorials on the technology Dippity. Dippity is a website where you can create an electronic timeline. You can make this timeline really come to life by uploading pictures and also embedding videos. Dippity can be useful in the classroom, in the home, or just to document any recent news or events. All right, so let's get started. First things first, we're going to open up our web browser so we can access the Dippity website. We are going to type in www.dippity.com. Now, this will bring us to our home page. This really shows you the capabilities that Dippity has. You can upload YouTube videos and have them stream in live news. You can also get news feeds incorporated in here. And as you see, this is over a period of time. We have a recent date, May 29th, 2009. So you have month, day, year, and you can also see time. All right, now down at the bottom here, these are some choice embedded videos and news feeds that you could get, but we're not going to worry about those right now. So we're going to scroll back up here and look more at this timeline. As you can see, we're on the Timeline tab right now, so it looks like a timeline. If we go to the Flipbook tab, we have the ability to look at the timeline as it, as it were a book. So each event would be a page in this book. So we're going to go to the next event, and it brings up another one, and we're going to go to the next event, and so on and so forth. It'll continue on this way. All right, so the list format is just like a list. Everything will be listed for you from latest, the most recent at the top, to the least recent at the bottom. And we can also look at this as a map. Now this map will show you where these news feeds are coming from. So there's some in the United States, Mexico, India, India and China. All right, so. Let's go back to the timeline view. Let's look at another feature of this timeline. Right now, we're looking at we're looking at the timeline as a one week shot. So let's zoom out a little bit so we can see one whole month. We can continue to zoom out more to see six months, a year, two years, five years, and so on and so forth. So you can see the capabilities that this could have in your classroom as well. All right, so since we do not have an account, first thing we're going to do is we're going to sign up for an account. All right, so to sign up for an account, you enter in the username of your choice and a password of your choice. And you're also going to enter in your email address. And entering your first and last name as well. And you're going to make sure you want to make sure to check in this box that you have read and agreed to their terms of service, otherwise, it won't let you create the account. Now we're going to click Create Account. All right, now this brings us to our blank timeline, but before we can get to the blank timeline, a welcome chart came up. This chart is actually has sources on it, just like the one you saw on the home page where you could include YouTube videos or news feeds. So we're not going to worry about this right now. So we're just going to X out of here. Now, as you can see, we have our blank timeline on here. All right. Now, this differs from the other timeline in that we have the ability to add an event, which we will see in the next tutorial. And at any time, we can also add a source, so it'll bring up that box again for us if we so choose to. You can also see this in a full screen version. You can embed widgets, and you can share this into Facebook, Delicious, or any other social network of that kind. This concludes this tutorial. In this tutorial, you learned how to set up an account with Dippity and also how to navigate through the main features on this website. In the next tutorial, you will learn how to create an event 
can also upload an image and embed a video into that event.